Hello. So, well, <sighs> okay, so this morning I, well, I slept 13 hours, and in the morning, you know, I was just on my phone and I was opened up the Reddit app and I saw a post. For some reason I saw a post from r slash relationship advice on the front on on like my front page and I so of course I had to click on it because it said it was about my boyfriend isn't okay with me being promiscuous in the past. And of course this is exactly what I've been thinking about for a while and uh, So, like, obviously everyone is saying, oh, well, uh, if you don't want to be with a promiscuous girl, then you're insecure and a misogynist. Well, of course I had to go and, you know, be all... Well, expressing how I feel in the comments. I mean, I found one person here who um, was giving, like, a different take on it, and I mean, actually he's responded to me here, so I haven't read it yet, so I just got it. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Wait, what? What do you say? Well, anyway, so one person responded to me who was a bit more understanding than the others and, I mean, uh, told me that there is a uh, name for it. It's called Retroactive Jealousy and I read some stuff about it and it's absolutely what I feel. Retroactive jealousy, I repeat. It's what I felt. Think it's what I feel thinking about that woman on whom I had a crush. It's what I'll feel if I get into a relationship with a girl who is a non-virgin. So that's 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 a problem. Well, anyway. I was outside today. You know, I was playing disc golf. And it was so hot outside. You know that Chinese character for summer? Pronounced Natsu in Japanese. Yeah, that 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 Chinese character depicts or used to depict anyway, a man under the sun. And when I was out there today, that was me. I was that man under the sun. The scorching sun. Tremendously thirsty.
So many aspects of all this just makes me so worried. Makes me sad. All this. I miss being 11 years old, you know? Oh yeah, wasn't it a bit music theory saying that there was like some rhythm that was pretty common throughout the battle music? I think it might have been like that. Oh, I might be misremembering. That's like the, you know, the one. That rhythm, you know, like in, like in the Despacito style of music genre. Man, this sure sucks. That's a lot of soft-boiled. It's so overpowered. You know, I don't have toxic. And I mean, I can't I can't put Blissey to sleep because I mean, I don't think I can anyway cuz Blissey already has a status. I don't think I don't think you can change it from poison to sleep. C or can you? I forget. I'm not so sure, actually. Maybe I should try it. Um, but but it's just like it's gonna have no effect, and then you don't know whether it it like it just didn't affect, or if it is because of. Maybe I should just use a peck. Fa! Could I have won there if I hit the peck? But like you you don't know if it's because. I mean, in this game, hypnosis just doesn't work sometimes. Like, it's not that it, it like, it's instead of saying that it missed, it says it didn't affect Blissey. So you don't know if that's because of the status ailment or if it's because of. That's good. Or if it's because of. It just, like, not working because hypnosis doesn't work all the time. Oh, so you wanted to take her back so you could challenge her? <laughs> I... Uh, I'd like to... Believe so, Terrell. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha. Oh, that's good. Yep. Right, so is Onyx's primary type steel? Do I want to challenge him? I kind of wanted to go back to heal, you know? Maybe that's not very necessary. Maybe I... Is, it, is he gonna challenge me if he sees me right by the stairs there? But I'm at the top now, apparently. I remember there's this weird thing where you can, like, go outside. It's really weird. You can get on, like, the outside. Or maybe that's only in Heart Gold. Maybe it's not in this generation, too. Wait, what the f- 
Oh. So we have a hole there. Stairs there. I don't know what item I got there downstairs. I don't remember. Probably some mail. I got some mail again now. No, maybe it was an X defend. So you get to hear the olivine music here at the top. And now back to the ominous lighthouse music. Oh! What the fuck? I'm trying to train my Pokemon here. Not switch out to Dookie Shed because he's because she's she's stronger against Entei. I mean, I don't know. You know, my my approach is to use the lowest level Pokemon so you can get them up to higher level. And like not dis and to disregard type advantage when you're in trainer battles. In gym leader battles, you use whatever is necessary to win. Wait, what? What do you say? How is it <laughs> loser? TM26, is that Earthquake? Yeah, it is. But what am I doing up here? I haven't, I haven't been here before. It sure has an interesting layout to this lighthouse. What did I get? Music mail. Not to! How cool is that? But I don't know what not to has to do with music. You know, not to is like one of my favorites. Maybe I just go down here. I can't use the bicycle in here. But there's stuff I've missed. Wait, what? There's another level. Yeah, you can go down quickly.
And I did. I was watching Yuri Yuri yesterday, or yeah, yesterday, and I was. I discovered another episode with Rise, which wasn't listed on the wiki. Smile, huh? Well, dub using double kick gives you a double chance of critical hits. Like, you know, there are two hits and each one can be a critical hit. That's good. Well, yeah, that, that's the whole... That's the whole idea, pretty much. I don't know if it's the whole idea. I will switch out in these circumstances, however. Wait, what am I doing? What hemp doesn't actually have any ground type moves? Not that I was even thinking that. But he doesn't. Doogie Shed. Oh my god! You can't mention Smile either, is that what you said? Speaking of sick... Yep. Wait, why did I cure Horde Hent? I'm not even planning on using him. But I can use him. Yeah, that thing about on the outside, I don't, uh, it's, it's a vague memory, I, it might have happened in Heart Gold. I always think about that when I go through this lighthouse, however. I say I've only, only gone through it like three times. One of which being, how many times have I played this game anyway? As soon as I get fly. Not planning to travel across the entire country. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, well, I, I don't know what to do. We'll, we'll see what we can do here. Like, maybe this will lead to a new place. Have I been here? Yeah, it's, it's not new. Oh, but what about this one? I've probably gone down this one already. I don't remember. I've gone down all of these, haven't I? But I can go here. I'm getting kind of confused. Yeah, I've already been here. And I haven't fought this one. <laughs> Not up to it. I mean, she kind of has to if she's the gym leader, but, I mean, I guess you can, uh, you know, it can wait, out of courtesy, sure. I think I'm actually done here now that I've fought this person. Uh, I was just wondering, I guess, about...
I guess I was kind of wondering about this area, but I've already been through this area. And then there's this. There's not really any secrets left. It's not that convoluted, really. I've been everywhere now. I'm pretty freaking sure. So... Should have just fought that guy anyway, but... Well... Yeah, there wasn't much to see here at all. Was there? Well, actually, I fought that other guy, too. I hadn't been there for some reason. Also, yeah, yeah, so one of the people I, you know, th that guy who was giving, like, the other take on this uh, in that Reddit thread, I uh, quoted a part of, um, <laughs> uh, Uh, someone is telling me that there's a bit of self-contradiction in here, it seems. I don't see anything yet, though, so I'll, I'll give you the quote, because I quoted it. No one get Quote. No one gives a flying fuck about... No, no one gives a flying fuck what men feel. This bullshit about men being emotionally repressed by the patriarchy is a lot of crap. People don't want men to demonstrate their feeling. People don't want to see it. It isn't just that other men. It's all of us. The name is uh, Razlethe, if I have to give credit, but I don't know. You know, I, I wonder. I wonder. I wonder where the line is there between giving credit and kind of. Because, because you know, all these subreddits have like rules against uh, giving away the names of the people in the screenshots. But it's like okay, and at the same yet at the same time, it's this big deal. They have to credit people. If you use their stuff. Well, couldn't you then argue that on these subreddits, you're using their stuff, their, you know, writing, their, the things they've written, without giving them credit? Like, what? where's the line drawn there? Is it really because in one of these cases it's celebratory and in one of these cases it's critical? Is that the difference? Because that's quite an unsatisfying difference. That's quite an unsatisfying line to draw. I can surf now, can't I? This great music, which I'm not going to get to hear for a while, because we're going to get an encounter. Also, I get... <sighs> Since this is, after all... You know, I only get to catch one Pokemon in each area. Maybe I should keep track of that better. I have a note. I have a... I have a text file, you know. Maybe I should add them. But it's like, I, 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 I never really forget either, so... Well, I mean, I guess, it, I guess it is important if I want the maximum amount of Pokemon. And, like, in those early areas, I always mark it down if I haven't yet. I guess because I didn't have a fishing rod. Maybe I don't need to anymore. No, I think it's better if I uh, if I keep track of this, I guess. If I don't want to break the rules and I also want to make sure that I get as many encounters as possible. Uh, in which case, like, the last time I marked down was in Elix Forest. Or, not really, more like National Park. Route 35, Route 36, National Park. Also Route 37. A critique. I, no, I didn't catch anything there. I have a fishing rod though. I have a good rod. Not just an old rod, but a good rod. And there's a tin tower. I haven't caught anything there. I have caught... Uh, well, I have had an encounter in Burned Tower. Route 38. Route 39. I haven't had any in Olivine City, actually. Nor in... Oh, the lighthouse is a separate area. Route 40. I haven't had anything in Route 40. I mean, I could use the fishing rod. 
how, how many fishing rods do I have in my in my pack? Old rod and good rod. Well, I guess I mean they do the same thing because it's like you know it's all randomized, so it's not like you're gonna get better Pokemon by using the good rod. So, but uh, I'm I'm gonna use the good rod anywho. At least it'll give you like a more variety though that's not important either because I'm only catching you know because I only have one chance per route per area so let's use that fishing rod I'm actually gonna register it a while I think that's probably the best way to do it oh but there's something right away here It's a uh, Charizard, but I mean, there's actually the duplicate clause, which allows you to get a chance for another one. Which I guess is, well, in that case, it's good to have a good rod. I don't know if I should register it. No, I should, I should. Just like temporarily, it's more useful to register it. So you don't have to go through the menu like that. Yeah, I think that's better. Do, 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 do. Now there's just hoping that I don't get another Charizard. Ooh, what the f It's a Jinx! Kinda wanna smooch him rather, but eh. <laughs> uh, Ice Psychic. Those are really interesting types that I don't have yet. Like, I probably rather have that than Dead Man, the sixth. Or Tom Scott, for that matter. I don't know, man. It's like. I'm gonna catch this thing anyway. But it, it's kind of difficult. You know, you kind of want a Pokemon with Fly on your team so that you don't have to go, like, switch in the at the PC every time you want to fly. It's more useful to have one in your, in your party, but you can't do that. Like, if you... I mean, you don't want a Flying type, necessarily. Oh, I can use my Lure Ball. What a waste. I know what I'm going to name this one. It's not very interesting anyway, it's not like that creative anyway. Eh. It's not that innovative. What the frick? I'm sick of this. But I mean like Deadman doesn't even have fly yet, so I mean I don't have to worry about that for now anyway. Where do you learn fly in this game? I think it might be Echo Take. I guess Dead Man is really useful to have, but that's just, just the thing, you know. It's like useful to have doesn't necessarily mean like you want you like that Pokemon. Like in in like in terms of design. And I try to, you know, use my favorites. I mean, I guess this early on, it's more like I want also... Clearly, I seem quite interested in having a diversity of types. At least this early on, where I haven't really had much choice. But, like, as I catch more and more Pokemon, I'd rather 
narrow it down to more of the ones uh, that I would prefer using in terms of, I guess, design. Yeah. Maybe that's ridiculous, though. Hmm, I don't know. No, I mean, it's not ridiculous. I mean, I guess kind of kind of defeats the pur purpose of the randomizer. Well, not really. Well, a little bit, maybe. You know, I just thought of um, Matthew Patrick, because I remember hi him talking about Jinx. But if I want to use a, f uh, like a female name, it would be Manami, because I, like starting with M, it would be Manami, because I already used that for, you know, the Charizard in the Nidorina, so... I can use that again, because it fits, because it starts with M. And even has an A afterwards. Hmm. Like, when you think about it, which Pokemon do I prefer? Gligar or Noctowl? Guess I don't have to think about it so much. Yeah, I'll deposit Noctel. But what item is it holding? <laughs> Poison cure. It's kind of annoying when you give them all held items because then you have to take them off when you're putting them in the PC. Crazy cry. Hmm. I might just end the video here, actually. I don't know. Maybe I continue. Man, Pokemon sure is long. New route. New car! It's not even funny. Wait, I have two rare candy stacks? What the hell? Like, are these gonna run out after a while? I don't know. How do I have two stacks of rare candies? Should I even use them now? Well, I was gonna actually fish. I've been getting lucky with that. Oh my, another Jinx. Like, they're not mapped to individual Pokemon, are they? Maybe they are. Nah, no way. I thought it was completely random. In which case, it would be quite the coincidence to have a Jinx on both of these routes. But I don't, I don't know. Man, that's lucky. But all I'm getting is Jinx.
But can I look up this route? Maybe there are only jinxes here. Who knows? Which route is this? Route 40. Pokemon. Johto Route 40. Fishing with the good rod. Oh god. Oh no. Wait, no, 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 no. No, no, no. It is actually. No, no, no. There's a variety. There's a variety. There's magic. Huh. This is weird. I'm kind of confused. Oh, yeah. Yeah, at this time of day. Yeah, there are. Well, yeah. Anyway, not, not at this time of day. At any time of day, really, there are three Pokemon I can catch. But, like, that third Pokemon is different depending on the time of day. But I certainly can get other th Pokemon other than Jinx here. If I read that correctly. Well, now I've read that reply I got on Reddit, and I uh, don't like it. What the fuck am I doing? No! What do I have money me the second in the front when I'm catching a Pokemon? Youngster Joey. Joey Youngster. <laughs> Joey Youngster. It actually says Joey Youngster. Oh, I don't have Noctowl anymore. Of course. What moves do Manpat... Monami Patrick have anyway? Lovely kiss. Well, that's great. How much- how many rare candies should I give her, though? Eh. I don't know. I don't know what's stronger. It doesn't really matter, because I have Powder Snow, that's great. Ice Punch! That's even better. Like, if I misunderstood, I mean, I am using a good rod, right? And I... I read on that page. I guess I just need patience. Yeah, yeah, all this makes me so worried about my future. Like. We want to go on that rant again. <laughs> again, what do you mean again? I haven't really gone on this rant. I, why am I even laughing? It's not because of that. I'm not laughing because of that. I'm just laughing because I'm... Because I'm crazy. Because I'm uncomfortable. Yo, oh my f It's a fucking scissor. <laughs> I don't even like scissor. Well, I do. Kind of. I forget what lovely kiss does. I think that's... There are different types of kisses in Pokemon. Right? And like... Lovely kiss is the one which puts them to sleep, right? Man, oh man. I was reminded of Nicki Minaj... 
how do you even pronounce that anyway? Like, God damn it. She's a fucking retard. <laughs> Only Katania Marai Petty. Uh, wow. Yeah, for okay, so that's like her stage name or what? Nicki Minaj. Sure. And like, I was reminded of her song Anaconda yesterday because I was rewatching. I just want to be cool. The videos in which there's that guy, like the Drege Ulander or whatever his name was, like those Ivarikliheten. Those videos. And what's his name? Yeah, it's his name is Drege Ulander. He's fucking hilarious. Yeah, those videos are kind of funny. I I was reminded of like the second part because I was like reminded of. Hey, oh shit! Uh, that's kind of copyrights or something. Uh, he said something funny here at the end. Um, I don't think they would mind if I use their video here. Oh, what is this here? Really, the reality in mine. Reality. Dreges reality. I I just found that kind of funny. It's stuck in my mind. Yeah, but like there's a kiss which causes confusion too. Oh, is it Sweet Kiss? Yep, that's the one. All these Clefairy, Clefable, Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff, and Chansey. And even Clef and Igglybuff can learn them. Oh wait, the, the those Pokemon I listed just now can't couldn't learn it until Generation 8, apparently. Wow. Even Pikachu can learn it. Now, what the fuck is that? What have they done to it? Oh, it's a specific type of... No. What? Is Pikachu a group fairy? You gotta be kidding me. Since when? What? That's... That's weird. And Spritzy and Am Ar Aromatis? Well, only since Generation 6, but they were in Generation... What? Oh. Spritzy is a Generation 6 Pokémon. I kind of thought it was a Generation 5. And wow, the shiny Spritzy looks pretty cool. It's like purple. Wow, that's so cool, right? Haha. <laughs> yeah. Shiny Aromatist looks pretty cool, actually. I, I, this Pokemon is pretty cool. Well, no, it's not that cool. Yeah. It's like a dancer. Yup. Oh, Plague Doctor. Well, that's kind of cool. Smoochum, of course. Frostitutes. I remember that. I, I used to watch Hayden. I used to watch Hayden when I was like 10 years old. Or 11 or something. That series is super nostalgic for me. His uh, Omega Fire Red Lights play. But it's not that nostalgic for me. But it's it's something I used to watch when I was younger. And like, I've been think I've, I've been planning to rewatch it, but it's just too boring. I was rewatching like part of it when I was in vac on vacation in Croatia. Well, that guy sent me another reply, and it's, uh, this one is a bit better, I guess. Like it a bit better anyway, uh, I guess. Okay. What was I talking about anyway? Togetic can learn it too. That's cool. Man. I love, I love Generation 2. It introduced all this cool stuff. Generation 2 is... Definitely the peak of Pokemon, I'd say. The peak of Pokemon. Like, it has the best art style. It, well, yeah. I, I like the way it looks. The problem is just that it's too boring. But I, but I like the way it looks. I do. I mean, just look at the scissor sprite here. It looks pretty fucking cool, wouldn't you say? Yep. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. And... 
Togekiss. <laughs> man, oh man. Togekiss. So weird. All right. Yeah, that's about it. I, I don't need to. I mean, I've been meaning to look at some of those formulas for you know, for Pokemon moves and stuff because that stuff really interests me. I love math, you know, but only if it's easy. If it's too difficult, I don't love it anymore. But it's I love math. I can say I love math, right? Kind of seems that way, you know. My favorite subject in school would definitely be math. Well, thus far, anyway. It always was, though. Like when I was in the tenth grade. I fucking loved math. I would do it all the time. Like, during breaks and stuff. Like, I really wanted to learn math. It was so much fun. It was so much fucking fun. It's so fucking cool, math, you know? Wow, Sweet Kiss has a cool animation. I like its animation. Wow. It has a really cool animation. Never even saw that. <laughs> what is that? It's like a. It's like an angel or something. That's really. I used that as my profile picture. Then people think I'm trans, like Digine. But 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 that's just because they're ignorant. <laughs> well, I'm I'm joking. No one would actually think I'm trans, or would they? But it's just whatever. Fucking, just whatever. It's I'm just being stupid right now. I do kind of wonder sometimes if I m record too much video. Like, let's say I record like two hours a day because that's kind of how much it is at this point. <laughs> Not really, but well, let's say I record an hour a day and I do that every day for 20 years. That's 7,000 hours of content. Plus the already like 3,000 I have currently, let's say. So let's say I make like 10,000 hours of content. Like, how much time would it take to watch that? Like, if you take 8 hours a day to watch that, well, that would take you like. Yeah, that'd take you like 3 or 4 years to just watch all my content. That is actually insane. I mean, I guess what's really insane is my attitude towards it, that like, oh, if you can't watch it all in a lifetime, then it's not worth making. That's not how most people, that's not how most people think. That's not how Digine thinks when she makes all this, when she's made all this content throughout these years. Ugh. <sighs> I just can't stop thinking about that, about that, about that, about that sweet kiss animation. Man, Gary and Riva, I saw him laughing the other day here. He had like this live stream and he, he had this test recording choir at the start and it was kind of funny. I liked it. I gave the video a like.
Ah, uh, okay. What? What am I? Why am I? S okay. What am I doing here? I got. A, I got a scissor. Here we go. I don't know why I'm so hung up on. Well, I, what I was saying, I already said this. Oh shit. Damn, if Scissor is gonna be doing that to Monami Patrick, then I better use the lovely kiss right now, maybe. Like, it's gonna do. Yeah, I mean, Scissor actually poses a threat to me now. I mean, how. Do I have any potions? If it's a wild Pokemon, I don't care about. Like, honor. Like, this is nothing. The scissor, he takes away as much damage as those, as that berry, he, he deals as much damage as that berry replenishes, so it's not even worth using. Holy sh- okay. Hold on a second. I mean, I could also, could also use Lovely Kiss to temporarily, you know, put him to sleep, and then I can use, well, what can I use? Would Lick do more damage? Like, I don't want to do too much either, because it's... It does less. Maybe I should just... Chuck some Pokeballs already. I'm, 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 I'm making this out to be a bigger deal than it really is. It's just... You know... I have 33 Pokeballs. I'm sure I'll catch them on some... Some... At some point here, and uh, it was on the first try, actually. <laughs> Whoa! That's... That's really fucking weird. Are you serious? Scissor can't fly? Are you serious? Damn, Scissor's tall too, I'll tell you what. But the height is kind of unreliable with these Pokemon and Pokedex entries, I'll tell you. Like, they measure weirdly. Like, I think with, like, I guess the popular example would be. It's not that popular, but I think the ferret, ferret, they measure from like tail end to head, instead of like from the ground up. Okay, what do I name Scissor? Well, I'm I'm over using creative nicknames, you know. Just body temperature. Huh. Well... I was thinking about Natsu since it's summer and that has to do with body temperature to some extent and I was mentioning Natsu earlier today but maybe that'd be too cringe. Yeah. Why do I even care? I'm done. I'm done. I, I can't. I can't. I can't come up with creative nicknames anymore. I, it's. It's. I'm. I've run out. I guess I was never that good at it anyway. But would you believe this? Would you believe this? A new Pokemon. To use in my party. <laughs> I kind of feel bad about it though, because I want to be all contrarian, and Scissor is a super popular Pokemon. I should save. I guess. What I love about playing Pokemon Silver, however, however, is that... And man, oh man. Oh my fucking god. I keep forgetting that I can play Gakuten Kenji too. Hold on, but before I say that... Okay, this is gonna take a while to explain. Um, 
Um. Liz, I'll. I will when I get to fly. Liz. Who do I take away then? Oh, Tom Scott? Take away Tom Scott. All the other ones I want to keep. I guess I've got a team now. Well, no, I don't want to keep Jinx forever, I don't think, but I, I'll, I'll keep all the other ones. Like, uh, what was Tom Scott holding? Wait, I have two X. Okay, I forgot that I... Forgot that I caught a Pidgeotto. Why wasn't I using Pidgeotto? What the hell? I wanted to use Pidgeot. Dude! What is this? No, seriously, what is this? Hold on a second. Hold on. No, seriously, hold on a second here. I... Huh. This is weird. Okay. Okay, for, first of all, first of all. Man, there's so many things in my head right now. And it's like... Does that... I still can't really understand Digibro's uh, neurotyping charts, because, like, does this mean that I'm a lateral thinker? Just because, you know, I've stacked up, like, four things in my head now. Not really four things, but eh. Bitter berry. Bitter berry. And unless I withdraw, so yeah, you can't grab the item from the box. You have to have have the Pokemon in your party to grab the item. Not that the item is very important. So like, here's the thing. Tom Scott, hold on, let, let me just, I'll finish the first thing. I'm, I like playing Pokemon, gold, or silver, or, I, I like playing Game Boy games. Let's play Game Boy games, because they're 240p and it's very quick to upload. Actually, I think they're 144p, but I record them at 240 anyway, because it's like a little bit better, and if I want to put text on the screen, or Natsu, which I'm planning to put earlier in the video, that's... That's better. And it's like, it's not not a big difference. Like, yeah, 240, I, li I like 240. So... That's one th the good thing about playing Pokémon. But I was just thinking now that I want to play Dual Destinies eventually, and I was having a Dual Destinies left to play, but I want to finish Jackton Kenji 2 before I do Dual Destinies. And like, for a month now, like when I've been here, when I when I was away, you know, at the grandparents' summer house, I was, I wasn't playing much of Gakuten Kenji too. Like I always forgot that I could do that. Like when it felt like I had nothing to do, I was just like, "Well, shit, you still have Gakuten Kenji too, my god." Like I was watching Ergo Proxy at one point, episode one. Like I was find trying to find good anime. Yeah. But I do have Gakuten Kenji too. Don't forget about that. I want to finish that so I can like put put in my tier list and stuff and listen to the music because I'm I'm putting off listening to the music because because I don't want to have any spoilers. So like I mean not it, it probably wouldn't spoil if I did go listen to the music, but you know just to maximize like like minimize the probability of me getting spoiled. I've yeah haven't been listening to the music even though the music. Like outside of the game, because the music is good. I think I was thinking about that earlier, like not earlier today, but earlier, a few days ago. I was, well, yeah, I was thinking about how. Oh well, if if Captain Kenji Two doesn't have well-designed cases, well, shit. At least it had some good fucking music. I'll tell you that. And it had worthwhile music. I like the music. 
I, 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 I do like the music in Gakken Kenji too. Yep. Uh, but I'll, I'll tell you what though. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, I've already told you everything. Yeah. So I keep putting off playing Gakken Kenji too, and like right now I'm watching Yuri Yuri, season two, and I mean I could be playing Gakken Kenji too instead. Uh, I might just do it tonight. Uh, I don't know if I could fall asleep early tonight. I kind of don't want to, because I want to consume sugar and stay up. I don't even have much sugar to consume. I have ice cream, but that's that's it. I don't. I only have like half a. Only have about like 175 grams of ice cream to consume. Ugh. That's not too much, uh... I don't know if I could... Uh, I wouldn't really have anything to consume after I finish the ice cream. Like, there are two, there are two, like... There, there isn't actually just 175 left, there's like 400 grams left in total. Because, like, I think my brother's starting on the other one. So, like... I guess I could have that one too, but I don't know, man. Eh... So... Yeah, keep putting off playing Gakken Kenji too. And I guess that just means that I'm not interested in the game. And like, fair enough. Like I, like you don't have to force it. You really don't. Or maybe you do. Like, that's the whole thing, you know. Some people, regarding reading, I mean I get that Gekken Kenji 2 isn't exactly parallel to reading. But, I mean it's kind of similar. Like, um... Like a friend of mine, um, had difficulty getting into Ace Attorney because he didn't like reading. Because, like, reading is a heavy component in Ace Attorney. Um, and, like, I feel the same way, and yet I still love Ace Attorney, because it's, like... <laughs> I like to say that it's in spite of, like, all the... What's it called? Verbosity? <laughs> in spite of the verbose nature of it, it's... Yeah. No, but I, I mean, I, I can like it even this, like, despite the, all the reading that goes into it. Like, I do admit that when I play Ace Attorney games, it's, it's kind of slow, and, you know, it, I just kind of want to move on, you know. It's kind of slow to wait for, like, to go through all those fucking text boxes, I tell you. But I still love it. I guess I make it. I guess I make it worse for myself by presenting everything to everyone and, um, like really presenting every single thing to everyone, like all the profiles and evidence. You can't present evidence, or you can't pre present profiles in every game. You can in Trials and Tribulations, but not in Dual Destinies or Gakken Kenji too. And also by. Well, I was gonna say pressing every statement twice, but that but that doesn't that doesn't that's not really reading. That's just a chore, and yeah. So it's not the reading in that case. It's just that it takes time. That's kind of difference. Yeah, but even with like the text boxes, it just feels like ah, oh, I just want. I wish I could get through this quicker, you know. And it's like, you know, you gotta enjoy the process. Like, what are you even waiting for? Like, what are you trying to get to by like you know being all impatient? Because, like, it's never going to stop being text boxes. <laughs> like, the entire game is like that. Like, what are you looking forward to, man? Or maybe it's not impatience, maybe it's just boredom. In... Well, no, but it is kind of impatience. Like, it, it kind of feels like that, or I think so anyway. I don't know. <sighs> so what was I... Hmm. So that's that f finished up. Dual Destinies is the thing, it, it's... What resolution is Dual Destinies? What resolution have I been uploading them as? Like the Dual Destinies videos. Is it 360p? Because that's not much different from 240p. Hold up. I always go on Reddit. 
and I want to answer an Ask Reddit question here now. Because, <laughs> like, despite that I'm making a video here. Didn't have to actually have to type that out because I haven't. I have a text document now, with like copy paste answers for Ask Reddit. <laughs> like I'm the most professional Ask Reddit answerer ever. It feels like because I've I've actually gone that extra step to making a text document now, with answers that I can copy paste. Because you know you see a lot of the same questions often. Mm. Like I've really, yeah. I used to do it a lot more now, though. Uh, or a lot. I used to do it a lot more, though. I I don't do it much anymore. I don't answer many ask credit questions anymore. I used to really do that all the time. Um. Hmm. What was I gonna do? Yeah, dual destinies. It's 480p. So, yeah, I guess that's kind of a bit slower to render and upload. I was having real trouble on the first night I came home. Like, it took so long to upload that video. I don't know why. Now it's back to normal. Now, they, now it's super quick. What's your favorite fictional school? That's a good ass question. I've never seen a good school in fiction. Like, you know, I, I always talk about what like the perfect school would be. I've talked about this, like what, what the perfect school would be like. I can go over that again. Like it's, it's really simple anyway. All right. That was just that entire th thing. I don't, I think I had anything else to say. Oh yeah, and then I was also going to talk about a different thing here, but that's coming up soon. So, did you know, does this mean I'm a lateral thinker? Like, here's the thing now. One, two, three, four. Oh. Oh, never mind then. I can have both. If I just deposit Jinx. <laughs> so I didn't see you for long. But I kind of want to use... I prefer to use these two. Dead Man the 10th and Dead Man the 11th. Maybe I should stop naming them Dead Man. Maybe I should name them Manny Cochin instead. I don't know. Dead Man is it's kind of cool though. It's kind of funny, I, I want to say. You know, like, like, you know, they turn character Dead Man. Daedmon. I wanted to use a Pidgeotto. Because Pidgeot is pretty cool. I. Out of all the regional birds, I picked Pidgeot as my favorite. And then we have Scissor. Bug Steel. Yeah, so I... So now I have six Pokemon right here. This is gonna be an Espeon. And this is gonna be a Kingler. I'm keeping this a Fampy, because I prefer Fampy's design over... Whatever its... Evolutionized form is called forget. Oh, Don Fan. Uh, Monami the second. I'm keeping a Nidorina. So prefer Nidorina's design over Nidoqueen. I am evolving this to a Pidgeot. And then we have Scissor. Yeah, I think this is going to be my team. At least in Johto. I might change it up in Kanto. Because, like, it's fu more fun to have like 12 Pokemon instead of 6. You know, like, throughout a Let's Play. You know what I'm saying? Like, I beat the Elite Four and the Champion. I, like, I beat the Champion with six Pokemon and then I beat Red with another six. That's always how I've imagined doing it. I don't, I don't remember if I did that in Pokemon Glazed. I was gonna do that in Pokemon Glazed. Did I do that in Pokemon Glazed or did I not? I was totally gonna do that. Did I just completely forget about that? Because I was totally gonna do that because I knew it had both the Tunod region and Johto. So I was gonna do that. I was gonna have six Pokemon for Tunod and then I was gonna have six for Johto, but I 
maybe I just completely forgot about that or just disregarded it. I, I, I think it's a I think it's a good idea. But let's actually surf a bit here. I kinda want some repels though. Ah. Uh, oh and I'm stupid. Instead of fishing I could have just gone into the water. But it got me a scissor. But that's just random. I mean, it's easy to say now. I mean, you wouldn't have known that back then. This Ella kid could have been a scissor, and the 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 scissor could have been an Ella kid. It's yeah. What, what am I doing? It's a wild Pokemon, dude. I guess for <laughs> some training, I can just use the red candies later. <laughs> I'll tell you. Uh. I just got a a huge tonsil stone just got out of my just came out of my throat. It's not that huge, but but I mean it's it's huge, like relative to the ones that I usually get out of my throat. Like damn. I don't know. I must have only gotten got. Damn, fr crocodile looks weird in this game. I must have only started getting. These tonsil stones, like lately, I, I don't remember. Like maybe since I was like thirteen. Or I just don't remember anything from before then. Or like, you know, maybe I just never like tried to bother to get them out. Because <laughs> you know, it kind of, you know, it's like something you consciously do. Like damn. Ah, oh, this good music though. Ah, don't you just love it? I crushed into all these pieces all over my desk. It's getting dark, I'm gonna turn on the lamp. Also, I, I took a lamp from downstairs and put it in my room because I would, because I wanted to have a light for when I was reading stuff, like reading books at my desk, namely The Adventures of Tintin. I wanted to have a light. I kind of had it on even when I wasn't reading one of these nights because like I preferred the brightness it brought. Like, which level are you? I want to look up Jasmines. The Jasmines. <laughs> the Jasmine. The Jasmines. Um, Pokemon levels. So me and the Jasmine will... So me and the Jasmine will be having a... Holy f... 
35. Wait a minute, I forgot. She's not even the fifth. I mean, I, I had that in mind. She's not the next gym leader. I forgot. It's actually a, what is his name, Chuck? Let's see. Yeah, Chuck. And Chuck's, it's weird, because aren't they super close by though? Yeah, his Polareth is level 30. So I still have a way to go in, sen in terms of leveling. Uh, let's use some rare candies. When is Dead Man the 10th of all, I wonder? Like, I'll use Fly to get the Golden Rod. I don't want to go there right now. And I'll go... Battle Liz. What the hell kind of name is Liz, anyway? I want to look that up. I always go on BehindTheName.com, you know? Do that for everyone. Oh, Elizabeth. Makes sense. Oh, did I never look up this name? Maybe I did, but... But apparently has a double meaning. Huh. All right. Whirlwind sure is a weird move, but I prefer it over Sand Attack. <clears throat> it's a fun move. Like, I wonder, can, pin can uh, not Pinsir. Can uh, Scissor learn any bug type moves in this game? Or any steel type moves for that matter? Hmm. Pidgeotto. with the name Pigeon in Japanese. It's weird. How... I'll, I'll give you Pidgey, Pidgeotto's, and Pidgeot's names in Japanese. 
Popo, Pigeon, uh, no, 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 Pigeon, and Pigiotto. That's weird. Pigiotto, Pigiotto is kind of like Pidgeotto. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Level 36. So, like, right after Jasmine. The Jasmine. Hey, Liz is calling again. I will battle you when I get fly. This sure is gonna take a while. This video is gonna be like two hours, I think. If I keep playing. Why did I go here again? Like, I'm trying to go to the Lugia cave. <laughs> and I guess because I'm playing Silver, I'll get to go to Lugia before Hollow. So that'll be fun. I guess this game, I do like this game after all, but it's, it's just really slow. Did I battle that dude yet? I don't think I did. I... I disagree. I mean, I guess if you're super swimming... Lee, I, I... I don't exert myself very much in the water. Like, I'm not swimming across the Lugia Caves and to, uh, to a whole different coastline. Well, to a whole different coastline, that's kind of vague. I mean, that critique seems pretty close by, you know, it's not like they explicitly stated that it was far away or anything. Well, it's far away for... Well, no, 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 Jasmine is... The Jasmine is staying with Ampharos to, I guess, make sure Ampharos doesn't die or something. Like, I guess... Taking care of Ampharos there on, like... I was thinking about that, like, why, why can't she leave Ampharos for a while? I don't know. Maybe there's, like, some procedure there, like, you have to... Like, like maybe you have to take medical care of Ampharos for whatever reason. Like, I don't have much... You know, I don't have... Medical care experience, so I wouldn't know. If you can... If you can leave... The Ampharos unattended for, like... 30 minutes. However long it would take to swim across. Maybe it takes, like... Maybe it takes, like, an hour in total. Signwood City is a good distance away from here. <laughs> yeah, pretty vague. Weasel words, as you call them. Shut up. They didn't give me the option to. Again, I don't know what does the most damage. Maybe I should actually just fucking look it up instead of being all... I did look up quick attack. I've already forgotten pretty much. Like, what would be an example of a move which has changed its power? It would be tackle. And yeah, it has hover over text. Saying 35 in generations 1 through 4. So yeah, Tackle is slightly weaker than Quick Attack in this game. But in the modern games, Tackle is just straight up better. Or, no, Quick Attack is just straight up better. Because it has priority. If you if you like priority. Maybe, maybe sometimes it's better to not have priority. Yeah, isn't it like a weird thing sometimes? I'm, I guess I'm thinking of Trick Room, but that... That wouldn't make it a disadvantage to use Quick Attack. Or maybe a Quick Attack is invalid in Trick Room or something. Huh. Yeah, but what was really weird was that Tackle did 50 in Generation 5 through 6. But they changed that in Generation 7. Yeah, so it did 50, like damn. 
50. Holy frick. But in this game it does 35, which is worse than Quick Attack. Gust, however, how much does Gust do? I would guess like 40. Yeah, it does 40. And since... Oh, but wait. Uh, Pidgeotto is a normal flying, so both of these have increased power because of the type. I forget what it's called. What is it called? Is it called Stab? Oh! Holy fu- Same type attack bonus. Abbreviated Stab. Did I ever know that Stab stood for same type attack bonus? I don't know if I ever knew that. I think I never knew. I think they were- I thought they were just using the word stab arbitrarily. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I got my arms got quite sore when I was swimming there at the Grand Prince or somewhere else. Isn't this like the biggest route in the game or something? Route 40. Because it's not two roots, is it? Oh, it is! Oh, shit. It's multiple roots. I need to keep track of that so I can catch more Pokemon. Because we also have Route 42. Wait, no. What are you... Huh? Why does it say it borders on 42? Because that's not true. What? Man, this is weird. So there are only two routes here. Route 40 and... But... but hold on. Is there a map of Johto? Like, someone made a map of Hoenn. Yeah, here's a map of Johto. This is... Oh my god, this is so cool. Is this actually a map of Johto? I want to see this. Ah, but I don't know where it is. Like, it's on a forum post. But it looks like this map might be edited. Oh, it even has Kanto in it. Here we go. Yeah, no, looks like this is, um... Minecraft. Yeah, this is Minecraft. But it's not really relevant, because, yeah. I can just go on Ecruteek and see the rest of it. Ecruteek City. Ecruteek shows the rest of it. Doesn't it? Huh? Kimono Girls? No, fuck, I, I said Ecru... Not Ecruteek, it's Signwood. Signwood City. Yeah, Signwood. Uh, can I get a map? Here. Yeah, so this is the other part of the sea, and that's, then there's all, that's all of it mapped out. 
Well, now I know what it looks like, roughly. Yeah. Man, that is not how I imagined it. I thought the... Yeah, that is not how I imagined it at all. That's not how I remember it. Huh. Here's an Ella kid. So, like, am I on Route 41 yet? Nope. Now? Yep, this is Route 41. And it's a Kakuna. Huh. Kakuna. Kakuna's kinda cool. But nah. Uh, maybe I should have caught it, because maybe I'd like to use it in my Kendo team. But now I don't really like B drill that much. So yeah, what I was also gonna look up was if Caesar can learn any any bug type moves in this generation. Like bug was really weak type back then. Later they introduced X Scissor and uh, U Turn and Bug Buzz and Signal Beam, but Scissor can't learn Signal Beam. But it is a special type bug move, which is cool. Which apparently Ariados can learn. But then again, I mean, that's only if you want a special move. Uh, physical is cool too, and you have X Scissor for that, and Fury Cutter, and U Turn. Yep, in. Uh, oh! Uh, Fury Cutter. Oh! Metal Claw. Okay, Fury Cutter starts with a base power of 10, and every time Fury Cutter is used successfully, its power will double up to a maximum of 160. But if Fury Cutter misses, the user is switched out, or the player uses an item, the power will reset to normal. So yeah, I don't know if that move is really worth using. I mean, it's a TM anyway, so I'm probably not going to get it, because it's all the TMs are randomized. So I can't seek it out. Uh, so yeah, Metal Claw. Oh, and Steel Wing. Metal Claw and Steel Wing. Steel Wing, 50 power, 95% accuracy, 10% chance of raising the user's attack stat by one stage. And Steel Wing inflicts damage, has 90% and it has 70 power, 90% accuracy, and has a 10% chance of raising the user's defense by one stage. But Steel Wing is also a TM, so it's not super likely that I'm gonna get it. So in short, yes, Scissor has Steel type moves in this game, and as for, huh. As for... As for... Bug type moves... There are some... False Swipe does do more power, right? Uh, yeah, Fury Cutter, but it's... It's... Kinda, I'm not so sure that Fury Cutter is a very useful move. It's kinda weird. Wait, what? Really? Huh. It seemed earlier like False Swipe did way more than Pursuit when I was trying to catch Scissor, but I don't know. Huh.
Oh man, there sure are gonna be a lot of trainers around these islands, so uh, maybe I should go back and heal. Man, this this one has a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> Man, I just tried Guillotine. What's the accuracy of Guillotine? Ah, it has an a oh my god, it had a thirty percent accuracy in in Generation One. And it has a formula. This is what I love. I love math. So the formula is, let's actually get a Pokemon here and I can use the formula. Kabutops at level 19. So the formula is user level. So opening parenthesis, user level, minus target level, closing parenthesis, multiplied by 2 divided by 256. Plus 76 by 76 divided by 256. And that's the accuracy, I think. It also says multiplied by 100%, but I don't know. What's that? What that's supposed to mean? Exactly. Oh, but I guess that. Oh, well, sure. I guess that shows you, like, it's the percentage, I guess. Well, yeah, uh, let's try it. 28 minus, let, let's, let's type it out in Wolfram Alpha instead. Twenty eight minus 19 multiplied by 2 divided by 256 plus 76 divided by 256 and there you have it. I think I've done this right. And the result is 47 divided by 128 which is approximately 0.37 so, in other words, 37%. So it's a bit higher than 30%. I was gonna use getting. Hell yeah! <laughs> it's a one-hit KO. Might just use it again. I don't know if it has any effect on Mysterious. No, it doesn't. Because it's a normal type move. Or Miss Drevis, I guess I call it. What the hell is the Drevis part supposed to mean, though? Oh, Dream. Reeve. Dreary. And Dread. I guess. Miss Drevis. Hell yeah. Getting real lucky here. Oh! Guess I'll take it. Kingler. Yeah, no kidding. Maybe just have a sleepover in one of the islands. Man, oh man, that claw. Like, you only see its claw pretty much, and like a bit of the hair. <laughs> hair. Crown, if you will.
Man, I know I go to the bathroom, but I might just have to um, get up and get up here for a while from the sitting and a stretch. I'm doing this for the shinies though, that's why I'm not using repels. I don't know if it's worth it, though. Like if shinies really are that important that you'd rather encounter them than use repels. Because you know, wild Pokemon encounters are, you know, quite the nuisance. I don't know if they're worth the occasional shiny. Man, I watched this stupid ass video of mine from like four years ago. The, the other day. Like yesterday. Where I said, like, oh my god. I'm so stupid. I love how in this game you can, you know, change the placement of them in the battle, so you don't have to do it like outside, like we can just do it there in the menu. I really like that. But yeah, I looked at like the, the female swimmer sprite and I was like, oh, something like, oh my gosh, this is a kid's game. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's kind of... but not really. It's more like, oh my gosh. Well, then again, it, it's not a Muslim game. It's just... Ugh, fucking hell. <laughs> yup. Yes, you did. Hmm. Now we're getting... oh yeah, I, I need a whirlwind. Or whirlpool, actually. I already have Whirlwind. I need Whirlpool to get inside the islands. I'm s I'm I'm trapped on the outs. Oh, well, not trapped, but I'm locked out. I'm gate kept. <sighs> I don't think you can use the word gate kept like that. It just kind of makes no sense. It's not how it's usually used anyway. But I'm kept out, so I'll tell you that. Look at this. Dennis.
Huh, is that how it works? I don't know much about pollution. Wait, was I here before? Who are you? Yeah, and then I went down. I read this comment on Diginez video. I've been watching Diginez long ass videos, you know, called Befriending the Internet. And there's a lot of talk about talk in the comments. Like Digine was talking about how there's no such thing as like a natural voice. Cause <clears throat> we use different voices in different contexts, or at least a lot of us do. Well, yeah, we do. Corsola. Rock type. And someone wrote in the comments. This doesn't, I'm not even gonna comment on it, pretty much. I was just kind of bringing it up because it's in my, stuck in my head. As like an interesting comment. I would consider that... I don't know which episode it was on though. Yeah, I don't know, should I read this comment? It's pretty long. Quote, a random note on the idea of not liking your own voice and the idea of guys generally not liking the way more feminine voices, voices sound. As a girl, I've always been shocked by the way my voice sounds in recordings because it's so much lower than what I imagined, and how other girls' voices sound in videos or recordings. Although my voice is overall somewhat lower than the average female voice, my mom has also commented before that she feels like I speak in a lower register when I'm around my mostly male friends than when I'm at home. Maybe this has to do with the fact that I speak Chinese at home and something about it just makes my voice go higher than English does. But I was also wondering if maybe over the years I've unconsciously devo developed the habit of speaking in a lower register around guys to seem less annoying. And in case, I like where my voice is since I prefer presenting androgynously anyways, being uncomfortable with either of extremes of stereotypical gender ideals. Uh. Yep, not just that one but all the other ones, but yeah, maybe this is the one you've been interested in visiting. Maybe this is just the only one you've checked. Like, why, why, why am I going here anyway? Like, I, I know what I know what it's gonna do. It's gonna chuck me out. Like, yeah. Another point. Actually, I this, the rest of the co this comment doesn't isn't about voice.
yeah, so the rest of the comment isn't about voice. That's just about the voice thing. So I, I was just gonna bring this up. It's not important. I, you know that Discord server I was in from August 2019 to March 2020? Uh, one of the people in there was very surprised by my deep voice. Like was quite, um, yeah. And like everyone is pretty much. But like one time later, so, so that was like in September or October. And then sometime later, I don't remember when, maybe like December or something, I don't know. But like, there was another voice chat. And he was like, damn, your voice is way higher. It used to be like s super deep. Makes me wonder if I've... <sighs> purposefully adjusted it like that. Not that I think it's wrong or anything. I guess I just... It's its like a philosophical thing, like Destiny was talking about in, in his talk with Devin Nash. I wouldn't want to be like s someone who presents themselves differently in order to... win approval or anything. Damn, so people actually seen Lug yet, it's not it's not really a secret. It's, it's just felt like I've also spoken with a higher voice, higher pitched voice in uh, these more recent videos. So maybe I just don't care anymore. Like, I, that is if I was consciously doing it, but I don't know. Maybe part of his conscious. Well, there's more to voice than pitch. It's kind of hard to describe though. I don't know if anyone is able to describe it. I am of course talking about so-called Feminine speech characteristics. Because I'm so woke these days, you know? Because I listen to Diginair. <laughs> Let's use flail. Not that it has any use at this point. Because Umbreon is at such low health. Maybe there's an next Pokemon. No, there's no next Pokemon. What? <laughs> Damn. Oh? I wasn't sure if I'd battled this one before. This sea sure is big.
Uh, but it's a Gengar. I don't know if Horde Hunt is fast enough for me to be able to make use of that f high power flail next battle. Oh no. That's a cool icon too though. The curse icon. The curse animation. Holy fuck. Can't remember which sound effect, which move uses that sound effect in its animation. Oh, what am I doing? Well, okay. Monami the second is lower level than Duke Shed, so there's that I guess. Man, I'm really losing here, am I? Let's see if I can make use of that... Flail. I might be able to, since Hard Hordance is way higher level. Hell yeah! Oh god, I'm gonna lose. No, thank you. But it's too late now. Or rather, I have no choice. Oh, but I might be able to use the flail here. Hell yeah. It wasn't quite enough to take it all out, but there we go. Simple as that. Oh my god, I've been recording for two hours. I have to stand still if I want to use the bicycle, pretty much. Like, it's more difficult if I'm running. I'm walking, rather. I'm starting to get worried that I might lose this recording if, like, all of a sudden my computer shuts down or something. Because it's two hours and this is, like, really valuable. What I've recorded today. Because I've talked about it a lot. And done a lot, but I, you know. Yeah. So I don't know, I'm wondering if I should, like, end the recording and then start it again. Or just end recording entirely. I don't know, man.
Is there anyone to the right? I don't want to miss anyone. Yeah, so we need flash inside that cave, huh? Maybe I should do a test to see if if I'm recording whilst I shut down the computer if it saves any of it. I'm guessing it doesn't. It kinda worries me right now. Fuck, it's a Mew. I want a Mew. Mew is a cool Pokemon. I like Mew. Probably rather use Mew as my profile picture than Kabuto. But I don't know, man. Oh! Mew has Transform, huh? Actually, wasn't... Well, Mew can learn, like, every move. But, well, through TM. And probably a trainer doesn't have TMs. Damn, Mew is fast. Or does it gain the stats of the Pokemon it transforms into? Oh, nice. Super effective. Forgot about that. I just want to use the speed up button so fucking bad. Okay, cool. Have I reached the top? No, this might just be the center. Maybe I should, use, maybe I should be using the map for this. 
Well, the map wouldn't let me see the trainers, I don't think. No. This sure does take a while. Oh, you can get a shuckle in um, Cyanwood, can't you? So that'll be randomized. Yeah, I think I've seen it all now. Exploding with firearms? What did she say? And that sure was a right shoe. Damn. Oh well. I hear that cry. Uh, sometimes I pray to Ho. -Oh. I've told that story, haven't I? It's not exactly a story. It's. Well, yeah. Well, no. It is a story, kind of. so lucky with the guillotine. Man oh man. Yup. Another whirlpool. Well, I've seen it all now. Unless there are trainers on the west side. Man, this takes a while. I have nothing to entertain me in the in the in the meantime. I'm supposed to use these to talk about stuff, but I don't. I've run out. I was watching Yuri Yuri. Another right true. So usually I was watching Yuri Yuri season two. Youngster Joey. As soon as I get fly. Now I'll just have to comb this place. See if there are any trainers. Oh my god. I wonder, am I in Ecru- am I in Sirenwood now? I might be. I think I am. So I think I'm gonna catch this. Raichu. And I might use it in Kanto. I'm not gonna use it yet, but I'm gonna use it, gonna use it in Kanto. I think. That will be good.
This is the twelfth, right? So is it? Hell yeah, it is. Got myself a right shoe. I was thinking about that just now. How I could have caught that right shoe and used it in Kanto. And now that came true. Well, we're here. I think I'm gonna end this video here. Like after I get fly, which might be around here somewhere. Oh no, I think I I think I need to beat the gym first. God damn it. It's this woman, isn't it? Yep. That's right. And I don't know if I'm, I'm kinda sick of this. So I think I'm gonna end it here. I was watching Yuri Yuri season two, and there's not really anything to say about it. <laughs> I already told you that Disa was in an episode which wasn't listed on the wiki, and uh, well, I can say that episode two I watched that and it has bad sound quality on AnimeDao.com, so that was kind of sucky, but it was all right. And they mentioned some card games, and I wanted to look up the random chance of the card games. Like, there was like... Like, one of them was like... I, I've, I've googled it before, like on the Wikipedia. Isn't it called... Old Maid? And Wikipedia calls it a Victorian card game. Um, probably deriving from an ancient gambling game in which the loser pays for the drinks. And like, ancient gambling game, I don't know, gambling, the word gambling, this is just completely random, but it made me think of Mooli Gang Gambling from, like, the Nitigeek 90GQ Minecraft server, Swedish Minecraft server. Goodbye.